Uh, item number four is public comment. I have four cards. Uh, uh, please line up, uh, come on up uh, to the podium when I, I call your name. And, and Linda, you're up first. We'll start off with you, Linda Kincaid, uh, Richard Calhoun, uh, Dr. Robert. Uh, Robert, I, I'm sorry, I, I can't. I, I can't read your writing. And Roberta Fitzpatrick, come on up, please. Hi, Thank good morning, you. Linda. Santa Clara County is a very dangerous place to go old. To grow old. Today is the seventh time I have approached you about elder abuse by the Santa Clara County Public Guardian. Your only response to date has been reducing public comment from two minutes down to one minute. Today you have before you a letter from the President of the National Association to Stop Guardian Abuse, an organization of which I am a member. That letter describes wrongful imprisonment, unlawful isolation, other forms of abuse against Giselle Reardon, at Villa Fontana in San Jose. To date, you have been completely apathetic about her situation. Today, advocates from around the country are watching this meeting to see if you will finally take action. Local news media are also present and watching. Will you finally take action against elder abuse in Santa Clara County? Will Santa Clara County continue to lead the nation in elder abuse? Or will you finally make this a safe place to grow old? Good morning, Supervisors. I'd like to point out that this is more than elder abuse. The public guardian is responsible for a lot of people. It could be you if you had a heart attack, stroke, or even a car accident. We need to look into this office. We need to get it squared away. Are any of you aware that the 11 years before 2001, this county only sold 50 homes? It sold 350 homes in the 11 years since. Why the dramatic change? We haven't had a seven-fold increase in the elder. Something's going on. Why is the public guardian up to 60 different names? I've complained about that in the past. He's responded by adding a new one. He uses a middle initial M now. His middle initials are. I can understand P, I can understand F, but M? Come on, guys, let's get on the program. Oh, we talked about the property in Santa Clara, the flipping. Remember that one where they made $35,000 in one weekend? Guess what? The property's back on the market. Now it's $350,000 more. Does that get your attention? From $450,000 when the public guardian sold it less than a year ago to $800,000 today in nine months? Come on, wake up, pay attention. Thank you. Uh, it's Dr. Robert Fettgather. I'm a clinical psychologist. I've practiced in San Clair County for the last 22 years. One of my areas of specialty is uh, the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder, and I follow uh, Ms. Kincaid and Mr. Calhoun on the topic of elder abuse. I spoke at the uh, California uh, Congress, uh, Senior Congress on Elder Abuse recently. And uh, my point is that what we're seeing is PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, and I have in front of me the Convention Against Torture, and looking at the transcript of what has happened to Gisela Reardon does seem, I think, for any responsible adult, and I really appreciate the invocation that began our meeting, uh, really addresses a torturous situation that ought to be, I think, a top priority for uh, all of the citizens in Santa Clara County. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. I was waiting for my name. I'm Terry Andrew Crittenden. I'm calling. I'm, I'm, I'm here about the Public Guardian's Office. Uh, this is Heidi Yaman, and she's conserved. It's a probate conservatorship. And she lives at Markham Plaza Apartments, 2000 Monterey Road. And for the last several months, there's been several false allegations lodged against her. And the Public Guardian's Office is supposed to protect her and defend her. Um, instead, they're working with the uh, Apartment Complex Management, Lane Beauchard, uh, and um, they're violating her fair housing rights. And. Um, they still a lot of the same collaboration they're doing with uh, Villa Fontana, uh, just a different different environment. And uh, she's uh, was supposedly represented by Larry Kubo with the, with the county council. 
who uh, I believe uh, did collusion. I forget where what the code is, um, but deprived her of her fair uh, fair housing rights and is trying to you know, facilitate an eviction, illegal eviction. So. Um, I'm not used to speaking in public like this. Yeah, so she's supposed to go to court tomorrow. And um, it's not right. Thank you. Thanks, Carrie.